the boat absolutely turned into a 30 foot by 10 foot wide sports car. The torque, the, the whole shot, I've never experienced anything like it. This is a whole other level. The engine's sleek. It is definitely a head turner. It's bold. I'll put it up against anything out there, hands down. And with that puppy on the back of my boat, that Evernude E-Tech G2, that thing is passing everybody. This is the most technologically advanced outboard engine in the world, the Evinrude E-Tech G2. The technology and design may look and feel like something out of tomorrow, but you can have it today. Whatever your destination, fishing, cruising, fresh or salt, Evinrude has the perfect engine for your boat. From the new 150, 150 HO, 175 and 200 horsepower models, all the way up to the full bore power of the 300, now you can get an Evan Rudy Tech G2 that's just right for you. And what you see on the outside is just a hint at the remarkable innovations that Evan Rudy engineers have accomplished on the inside. Why did they do it? Because they could take the existing engine block design only so far. So they started fresh with a clean sheet. Clean sheet. What's that mean? That means that we didn't put any boundaries on ourselves. We wanted to make something that was truly extraordinary. That meant no boundaries. From the power head to the enclosures, the gearbox, the midsection, the way the motor bolts on the boat, it's all new. The intelligent design of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 blows everything else out of the water. Thrilling performance, intuitive handling, the best fuel economy and lowest emissions in the industry. All that heart pumping power, plus extreme durability, the lowest maintenance, and an industry leading warranty to back it all up. Evan Root engineers took the opportunity to rethink every aspect of improving the boating experience. They looked at rigging, steering, controls, and how the engine was mounted to transom. Evan Root was able to turn innovation into excitement. And now with the addition of a new range of horsepower options, more boaters can feel the excitement with up to 30% more torque, up to 15% better fuel economy, and up to 75% lower emissions. And you can take your pick from hundreds of color combinations. You'll see all of this in just a moment. But first, here's real world proof that Evinrude has once again created an outboard that everyone will quite literally be trying to catch up to. The Drag Race. It starts with identical Ranger Z521 bass boats with matched hulls. On one boat is the Yamaha VMAX SHO250. On the other is the Evan Root E-Tech G2250HO. Both are propped and rigged to manufacturer specifications and certified by an independent observer. And while the drivers aren't the same weight, the advantage is in favor of the Yamaha. That's almost 30 pounds more weight in the Evan Root boat. But let's see what happens. The Evinrude E-Tech G2 is faster off the line and leaps quickly onto plane. It not only produces superior torque, it reaches Yamaha's peak horsepower a whole 1,500 RPM sooner at 4,500 RPM. Acceleration is better. Handling is better. You want better real-world performance? You want an Evinrude E-Tech G2. The state-of-the-art technology of the Evan Root E-Tech has always been superior to the four-stroke competition. By its very nature, a direct-injected Evan Root E-Tech engine creates more torque because every stroke is a power stroke. And now, Evan Root E-Tech G2 takes this clean-burning, fuel-efficient legacy to the next level. All Evan Root E-Tech G2 engines are already 100% compliant but also meet more stringent EU RCD standards. Evinrude also earned a three-star rating from the California Air Resources Board. So you're free to explore some of the most heavily regulated and beautiful bodies of water in the world. We're seeing 75% reduction in total hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxides, and carbon monoxide, 75%. That is a tremendous improvement in overall total emissions. Having a clean motor that is just by far leading the industry in emissions, that's just really big on the list. And with cleaner burning comes better fuel efficiency. The Evan Rudy Tech G2 uses pure power combustion to beat the competition with best in class fuel economy. On the popular Key West 239, for example, the Evan Rudy Tech G2 250 outperforms the Yamaha 250. 
20% better at cruise and 29% at wide open throttle. But here's even better news for boating enthusiasts. The more you improve combustion efficiency, the more clean burning and fuel efficient you make an engine, the more power you get out of it. Simply put, an efficient engine is also a powerful engine. And there's no better way to prove the superior power of the Evinrude E-Tech G2 than with a test of torque. This popular fishing boat is mounted with two engines. And the question is, when it comes to getting a boat this big up and on plane, what chance does this Evinrude E-Tech G2 150 have against the 200 horsepower Yamaha? Get ready to find out in the Plain Truth Challenge. The name of the game is getting on plane so you can see where you're heading and get where you're going faster. The captain starts with just the Yamaha 200 in the water on this deep V 25 foot boat. Let's see what happens when he tries a hole shot. The plain truth is he's plowing the water hard and slow. Let's see if the smaller, less horsepower Evinrude E-Tech G2 150 can get this 4,300 pound boat up and out of the hole. See the plain truth from above. The Yamaha never tops 10 miles per hour and never gets on plane, while the Evinrude E-Tech G2 clocks in at 30 miles per hour in under 30 seconds. The plain truth is the Evinrude E-Tech G2 got the boat up on plane fast, even with the Yamaha as dead weight. When we first took one out with the G2, it was a complete total game changer. In fact, we ended up naming the demo boat we built the game changer after driving it the first time because literally with 11 guys in the boat full of fuel and all the gear you needed, you were out of the hole in two boat lengths. The ability of this E-Tech G2 to put me on plane quickly vastly reduces the amount of time that I lose vision of what's ahead of me or what may be coming toward me. E-Tech G2s are is just another a, a totally different ball game. It, uh, it pops right up and comes out of the hole quickly, and the low-end torque is, uh, is really phenomenal. If you need to get up a lot of weight, if you need reliability, this is the engine. You just saw how easy it was for the Evinrude E-Tech G2 to take down the competition with breathtaking torque. In a minute, you'll see how easy it is to drive your boat using state-of-the-art power steering. Learn more and design your own Evinrude E-Tech G2 at evinrude.com. You look at these other motors, and they look outdated. You, I mean, they look so far outdated now. That is the new look. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a sexy look. The E-Tech G2 is beautiful. I mean, look at the covers, the different colors they have. And I really like the style of them. I mean, the engine's sleek. I like the color. I like the style. I like the clean rigging. And just looking at the engine, I mean, to me, it makes a powerful statement. It is definitely a head turner. When I first saw it, I wasn't sure. I mean, it looked like a transformer. I didn't know what it was. It was like just big, powerful transformer on the back of my boat. And once I saw it the second time, I'm like, man, I kind of like that thing. A new design needs to shock at first. It needs to shock. If it doesn't shock you, then it blends with every, every, everything else. The design of this new outboard is anything but commonplace. But even with its futuristic look, you don't have to choose form over functionality. Because the Evinrude E-Tech G2 isn't simply about styling. For instance, the cowling, while dramatic in appearance, is actually designed to improve intake airflow while simultaneously ventilating heat from the engine. The new architecture allows us to have flexibility, having two side panels. Not only is it good for servicing, but the fact that these side panels now, we offer them in different colors to literally perfectly match and integrate to their specific boat. They're available in five standard colors with 14 different accent colors, making it extremely simple to color match engine and boat. So instead of paying thousands for an expensive custom paint job or settling for black, white, or gray, now you have the choice to quickly personalize your Evinrude E-Tech G2 engine to perfectly match your new or existing boat. Plus, Evinrude has partnered with boat manufacturers to create exclusive color matched boat and engine packages with custom colors you can't get anywhere else. And perhaps what's even more radical about the design of this new engine is what you don't see. We've worked on making our engines clean to rig for years, but this time we said we want it outstanding. 
Conventional rigging requires a deep motor well and enough slack to accommodate engine movement. It takes up room and is unsightly. Now, all of this has been reorganized. The rigging is done up here in the motor and the tubes come out to the boat. So you no longer have the tube moving along with you as you steer or trim. It's very clean and very reliable. And because the engine is self-priming, there's no need for a primer bulb. Now you can choose clean over clutter. Typically, an outboard motor has a, a steering cylinder that goes on the front of the motor. What we've done is we've integrated that into the swivel bracket. This is the power steering unit. It fits right inside the swivel bracket. No longer going in the boat, no hookups, no wires inside the boat at all. Evinrude has completely reinvented power steering from the ground up. This is no expensive dealer-installed customized program or aftermarket add-on. This is built-in technology that lets you tailor the steering control to the right level for the right conditions. And it's the only power steering solution that automatically gives you less assistance at higher speeds and more at lower speeds when it's needed the most. The power steering was a big factor for our purchase. We're doing a lot of turns. We're not just doing straight lines all the time. And I wanted something my wife could drive with ease. I mean, I love the power steering. Integrated power steering, it's a dream. I mean, those big seas, I could drive my boat literally with one finger. Power steering just makes the boat so much easier to run on a full day out on the ocean. Having power steering, it makes it super easy to drive. There's actually three different levels, so you can pick however easy you want it to be. Um, so I'm not sure why you would ever own a boat that didn't have power steering. The midsection has also been rethought and fundamentally improved. The transom mount is quite different on the new E-Tech. One of the basic questions we asked is, why does an outboard motor need this little cantilevered uh, element coming out over the transom? And the answer is, you don't. Existing designs were basically inspired by old clamp-on brackets. Under heavy loads, they can actually flex. With the cantilevered midsections, there's always a little give in your midsection. By making it very stiff, when you're on a triple engine boat or even a fast single engine boat, you don't get the deflection in your swivel brackets, so it gives you a very smart, very on-track ride. The stronger, more stable midsection is built to handle enormous horsepower and provide predictable, precise handling, even under heavy loads. Below the waterline where torque and horsepower are turned into propulsion, the Evinrude E-Tech G2 features a brand new gear case designed for better durability, speed, and handling. Besides being more robust and build with a bigger gear set, its hydrodynamic design produces less drag, reducing steering torque and providing better rough water handling. And the weed shedding leading edge helps keep water intakes from clogging. We've also redesigned the gear case for the new E-Tech. One of the key elements of that new design is that the electric shifter is actually incorporated into the gearbox. This is a very robust place to put the gear shift mechanism in the oil, and you don't have any of that clunk when you're putting it into gear. The second you apply throttle on an E-Tech G2, you're instantly surprised and then blown away by eye trim. The industry's first fully integrated engine trim assist. It gives you better performance, automatically keeping your engine at the optimal trim setting, whatever the speed. Or if you prefer the feeling of total control, you can adjust it or even switch it off. So iTrim is super easy. I mean, all you do is literally hit the button on the screen to turn it on, um, and then you just trim down and hit go. And it was just so easy to drive, you know, with not having to worry about the trim. I could just, you know, gas it and go, and that's where I fell in love with the engine. Up at the helm, Evinrude has rethought the user experience and created the next generation of digital controls and displays. The advanced icon touch displays let you adjust responsiveness of power steering, access all your vital engine readouts, turn eye trim on or off, toggle between hand control and foot throttle, and engage auto storage, all at your fingertips. The Icon 2 EST controls allow you to synchronize up to four engines with precision. And for the ultimate peace of mind, our innovative iDock feature provides effortless steering control. Even in the most tight, demanding conditions, it helps you execute complex docking maneuvers with confidence. And now, with the new Evinrude E-Link, all your engine's most important functions are right in the palm of your hand, whether on board or on the dock. In every way, the Evinrude E-Tech G2 is designed to make your time on the water as exciting as possible. Coming up, 
get ready for a 206 mile ocean run from Sarasota to Key West in our dollars and cents fuel efficiency challenge. Learn more and design your own Evinrude E-Tech G2 at evinrude.com. Competitive outboards require a lot of time and money to maintain, but now you can choose to spend more time on the water and less time at the dealership. Since revolutionizing the world of outboard motors with the first Evinrude E-Tech G2, our engineers haven't stopped putting its systems and subsystems through the toughest testing possible. The result is just what you'd expect. Continuous improvement in reliability and durability. Like all Evinrude E-Tech engines, the amazingly efficient design of the Evinrude E-Tech G2 has over 100 fewer parts than a typical four-stroke engine. Parts that not only add complexity and weight, but also require service and can break down. Because Evinrude uses tough space-age alloys and engine components are honed so precisely, there's absolutely no break-in period. On the other hand, to break in a four-stroke engine, you need to follow hours of critical procedures or risk compromising the life and performance of the engine. Plus, four-stroke engines require oil changes as often as every six months. But just like its predecessor, the Evinrude E-Tech G2 never needs an oil change. That's right, never. In fact, the Evinrude E-Tech G2 requires no dealer scheduled maintenance for an unheard of five years or 500 hours of operation. The throttle's electronic. There's nothing to adjust. The spark plugs last longer, the water pump lasts longer. Things like that, that's what makes five years possible. You just don't need to do it now. In the same five year period, you'd have taken your Mercury in for scheduled maintenance four times, costing over $1,400. If you owned a Yamaha, you'd have taken it in five times and spent at least $1,800. That's a lot of time off the water and in the dealership. The cost of owning a four-stroke really adds up. Our industry-leading technology is backed up by our industry-leading warranty. While competitors start to slack off, dropping coverage on key parts after year one. Evinrude goes the distance. Your engine warranty, rigging, gauges, and corrosion protection are fully covered for five full years. And as you know, an outboard's number one enemy is corrosion, especially in salt water, where electrolytic action is intensified. To combat Mother Nature's efforts to tear down your engine, Evinrude has gone to extreme measures. We start off with the basic E-Tech is good in corrosion to start with. Then we add what we call titanium oxide coating, which is about five times better than chromates for preventing corrosion. Then we start paying attention to detail. You see these little red insulators here? They go around our fasteners so that they do not communicate with the aluminum to form a corrosion cell. Details, details, details. Stainless steel is used extensively and whenever possible. And the anode surface has been increased and the locations of anodes optimized for effectiveness. Nobody else takes these kinds of measures to protect your engine from corrosion, which explains why nobody else offers a five-year corrosion warranty. Leave it to Evinrude to continue pushing the envelope on durability, quality, and reliability. Whether it's anti-corrosion protection or no dealer scheduled maintenance for five years, Evinrood keeps innovating with one goal in mind, to keep you on the water longer. And here's another way they do it, auto storage. Just like all Evinrood E-Techs, you don't have to go to the dealer to prepare your outboard for storage. With the touch of a button, you can do it yourself in a matter of minutes. Storing a four stroke, that's another matter entirely. With an engine like the Mercury, you probably should go to the dealer because the process is long, time consuming. And once it's over, so is your season. But not with the Evinrude E-Tech because it's so quick and easy to winterize. If a warm sunny day comes along, you can get back out on the water and enjoy it. Mercury and Yamaha owners will be watching from the shoreline. Better horsepower and torque with better power to weight, the lowest emissions and superior fuel economy how did Evinrude squeeze so much energy out of every drop of fuel? Basically by designing the engine around the moment of combustion. All the direct injection motors on the market today are an adaptation of direct injection to a carbureted block. Now we turned it on its side and we said, let's develop an engine block around direct injection and see what we can get. 
In order to develop the thermodynamics of the new engine, we worked with the University of Wisconsin-Madison. They have software that's capable of simulating what goes on inside the engine. It's called computational fluid dynamics. For this software, it's literally like you can sit in the cylinder and you can watch the fuel in the air and the exhaust move around. It allows us to get the right amount of air in the cylinder at the right time so we get perfect 14 to 1 mix. That added torque in the mid-range allows me to run the boat at a lesser RPM, still create the speed that I'm looking for at a fuel savings. This motor gives you a tremendous amount of fuel economy versus the horsepower you get, so you can go farther, burn less gas, run faster. The Generation 1 E-Tex, we're burning 22 gallons per hour. The new G2s are burning uh, 17, 18. So that's literally money right back into the business that I'm not spending on fuel. The Evander G2 is the finest outboard on this market. It surpasses everything on paper as far as your fuel stats, your performance stats, acceleration, everything. So it doesn't give the consumer a doubt. This technology is leading the industry because of the reliability that I've seen, the lack of maintenance, and the fuel economy. Those are the three biggest things in my line of work that make or break. We're so confident of our fuel economy, we're willing to let two of our Evinrude E-Tech G2 300 engines go prop to prop with two Yamaha 300s in what we're calling the Dollars and Cents Challenge. It's a long haul from Sarasota to the Florida Keys. These two boaters are at the helm of identical 32-foot center consoles, each with twin 300 horsepower outboards. An independent observer verified that both boats have the correct engine setup and are rigged and prop to each manufacturer's specifications. They both have 160 gallons in their saddle tanks as they begin the 206-mile journey from Sarasota to Key West. Same horsepower, same fuel, same distance. But that's where the similarity ends. To get a true fuel comparison, both boats will run side by side for the entire trip. Sometimes there's nothing better than running on open water, but for sure, there's nothing worse than running low on fuel. You hear that? That's the sound of two Yamahas burning through all that fuel and money and still coming up short. 25 miles short of Key West, to be exact. We ran out of fuel. We're about 25 miles north of Key West. Andrews 2, what is your position at this time? With 32 gallons of fuel remaining, the Evinrude E-Tech G2 power boat continues on its journey. I got you at 24 degrees, 57 decimal. The 300 horsepower E-Tech G2s go the distance, pulling into Key West with 15 gallons to spare. Let's do the math. The Evinrude made the trip with 145 gallons. To finish, the Yamaha would have needed 185 gallons. That's almost 30% more fuel than the Evinrude. The Yamaha owner would have had to spend $160 more to make that one-way trip. And that's not counting the fuel to get back home or the cost of Sito. More range, less money. That's fuel efficiency. That's Evan Rudy Tech G2. So when I'm talking about G2, I'm talking about being able to go anywhere from 40 to 50 miles further on a tank of fuel. This motor was able to run past the gas stations while other people literally in the tournament were pulling in to get fuel because they needed fuel for the same distance that these other anglers were running. And the guys that are running the Evinrude E-Tech G2 did not have to stop and get fuel. I've been running G2s for roughly two years now. My savings are roughly 20%, 18 to 20%. I'm experiencing over 20% fuel savings from when I had a twin 150 rig on a smaller boat. The engines are you know, very, very efficient and give me great mileage. Fuel economy is excellent. I'm seeing about five and a half miles of the gallon. Nobody turns innovation into excitement like Evinrude. And with a whole new range of Evinrude E-Tech G2 horsepower options, whatever your destination, fishing, cruising, fresh or salt, you can find the right engine to rev up your dreams. 
I'm very happy G2 owner. For our dealership, the boats that we have on the water with G2 have been basically flawless. It's the perfect engine for me, and, and in my years of doing this, you know, I'm a little bit of a technology junkie. I've not seen anything that has come along that has just been, you know, vastly superior in so many categories and, and able to give you that performance. That's the new deal. That's that the G2 is awesome. Evinrude E-Tech G2, the best engine ever. With the Evinrude E-Tech G2, you spend more time on the water, less time in the dealership. And you spend more time enjoying the thrill you get from up to 30% more torque, the big savings of up to 15% better fuel economy, and the pride of up to 75% lower emissions. And that's just for starters. If you want a durable, reliable outboard that will give you years of best-in-class performance and better fuel economy. There's really only one choice, the Evinrude E-Tech G2. Learn more and design your own Evinrude E-Tech G2 at evinrude.com.